Bahasum Yahawasai, Wahawa Kakwadash, in Hebrew, that's giving praises to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahawashai, who is our Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone who taught us His truth, honors to the brethren that is laboring doing the work to push the gospel, risking their life and freedom to do so, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect which would be the one-third of the nation of Israel, which would be the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, who would be returning back to the Most High through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, so that he would have mercy on us in judgment. <clears throat> so we back with another lesson through the power and spirit of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. I'm either going to title this lesson, The Right Hand of the Lord, or I may title it, the same power that can save you is the same power that can kill you. Something along those lines. So I ran across a scripture that inspired me to do this lesson, which we're going to cover this same idea later on, me and her brother collab when we go live, you know, later on this afternoon. But, you know, something I learned from the mysteries of the kingdom that the same power that's going to save us is the same power that can kill us. And we're going to show what I mean, what, what, you know, what that means through the scriptures. So we're going to hit Ephesians 1 and 20, which he wrought in Hamashiach when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. So yeah, at the throne in the spirit world where the most high is, at his right hand is Yahweh Shah, his only begotten son. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's why it says when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. So you could think of Yahweh Shah, the son of the most high, as the right hand man of the most high. So you can look at Yahweh Shah as the right hand man of the Lord. And even in the world, somebody may say, yeah, that's my right hand man. That mean you tell your right hand everything. Everything you do, your right hand man right there with you. A hey, same with the most high, Yahweh, and there's only begun saying Yahweh Shai. Hey, and that's everything, you know, from the salvation to the destruction. You know, the right hand is there. But we're going to actually show that it's the right hand that accomplished all the things that the Lord intends to do. You know, so when a destruction happened, that's not the devil. That would be the right hand of the Lord. And who's the right hand? Yahweh Shai. Hey, and even the salvation is not the Most High Himself doing it, it's His right hand. So. Let's continue. You're going to get into the next scripture. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill. I make alive. I wound and I heal. So straight up, the Most High said he kills and makes alive. And how does he do it? Through his right hand, Yahweh Shah, his right hand man. Neither is there any other that can deliver out of my hand. So if it's Yahweh Shah that's actually doing everything, we'll do the Most High command that he just give the order. The Most High Yahweh gives the order of what's to be done, and Yahweh Shah set a plan in motion because he's the right hand of the Heavenly Father, the right hand man of the Lord. And then Yahweh Shah has angels and everything else working for him to execute the plan of the Most High. So, everything that we read from the Lord killing, making alive, wounding, and healing, these are all different plans of the Most High that's carried out by His right hand, Yahweh Shah. <clears throat> all right, so next we're going to jump to the book of Exodus 15 and 6. We're going to show that it's actually Yahweh Shah who kills. And the Most High says, I killed and I make alive. The Most High gives the order of who dies and who remains alive. But it's Yahweh Shah 
that does the killing, that does the saving. So Exodus 15 and 6, thy right hand, you see that? You see, let's continue. Thy right hand, O Lord, is become glorious in power. Thy right hand, O Lord, hath dashed in pieces the enemy. So why would it just say thy right hand? You know, like the Most High got the left hand tucked behind his back and he got his right hand out doing everything with one hand. Now this right hand will be the right hand man. This is concerning our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. And really, when you see the right hand of the Lord, the Bible is written in code. This is a code word for Yahweh Shah, the Son of God. Because going back <clears throat> to Ephesians 1 and 20, <clears throat> you know, it's talking about Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. You know, when he raised him from the dead, set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places. So, when it says thy right hand has become glorious in power, that's the right hand man. You know, Yahweh Shah, the son of God, becoming glorious in power by what? By sitting at the right hand of the heavenly father in heavenly places. You know, that's how he become glorious in power. Thy right hand, the right hand man, the same person. The same power, Yahweh Shah, have dashed in pieces the enemy. So when you think about the Passover, that death angel, that was the right hand of the Heavenly Father. That was Yahweh Shah, the Son of God. You know, and who, and what else? And the destruction concerning America. Who's in charge of that? Yahweh Shah, the right hand of the Heavenly Father. So again, thy right hand, O Lord, has become glorious of power. Thy right hand, the same one, O Lord, have dashed in pieces the enemy. So anytime our enemies are put to death, destroyed, dashed to pieces, it, it was Yahweh Shah in charge of that. So the Most High can say, there is no God with me, I kill, but the killing is accomplished by the right hand man, Yahweh Shah who would dash in pieces the enemy. And on the other hand, the same right hand, you know, that can kill our enemies is the same right hand that's going to save us. In other words, the same right hand man of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, that same right hand man is going to save us. And he can also put us to death. So Psalms 20 and 6 now know, I, the Lord, save of his anointed. He will hear him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. So, yeah, this is not the Lord having his left hand tucked behind his back, and he's trying to save his anointed with his right hand. The right hand of the Lord is a totally separate person. It's a totally separate spirit. This is Yahweh Shah. And just revisiting Ephesians 1 and 20. Hamashiach, when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in heavenly places. And that would be the kingdom of heaven in the spirit world where the throne of the Most High is. Yahweh Shah is at the right hand of the heavenly father, symbolizing that he is the right hand man of the Most High. Because remember, he was set in heavenly places. That's what? That's the right hand becoming glorious in power. Because sitting at the right hand of the heavenly father, that's a position of rank and authority. And then we know Matthew 28 and 18. Yahweh wish I said, all power on heaven and earth is given unto me. That's rank and authority. He has the highest rank and authority in the heavens and in the earth by sitting at the right hand of the heavenly father him becoming glorious in power so again now know i that the lord save of his anointed he will hear him from his holy heaven which would be the spiritual world at his throne with the saving strength of his right hand so the same right hand 
that dashed the enemies into pieces is the same right hand that's going to save the anointed. So yeah, the same power that can kill you can save you. And vice versa, the same power that can save you can kill you. You know, Yahweh Shah is that total package. You know, he, he can accomplish both. You know, it's not the devil that's killing you and it's not the most high himself that's directly saving you. The killing and the saving is both accomplished by the right hand of the most high, which is Yahweh Shah, the son of God. And this is a scripture that I actually came across recently. I'm like, man, that's a dope scripture. And Salakia for using that word. So Isaiah 66 and 14. And when ye see this, your heart shall rejoice and your bones shall flourish like an herb. This is cold words for Israel. The valley of dry bones that came back to life. The dry tree that's beginning to flourish. In the book of Ezekiel, the 17th chapter, let's continue in the hand of the Lord. And what is that hand? Well, it's the same hand, right hand. And that's not literal. This will be speaking concerning the right hand man of the heavenly father. The hand of the Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, shall be known toward his servants. So, yeah, the hand of the Lord, the right hand man of the Lord should be known toward his service. Who would his servants be? That would be his anointed. And how would his hand be known toward them? That's speaking of salvation. So yeah, the Lord is going to lend a helping hand to his servants, which would be the one third elect. Let's continue. And his indignation toward his enemies. So with the same hand, you know, the servants of the Lord is going to know salvation. But with the same hand, there's going to be indignation shown toward his enemies. So the same hand can is going to be a helping hand to the servants, the elects, but a hand of destruction and wrath and indignation toward his enemies. So again, the hand of the Lord, this is speaking Yahweh Shah, shall be known toward his servants and his indignation, his fierce wrath toward his enemies. So yeah, that's the duality of Yahweh Shai. Well, of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Because again, the Lord says, I kill and make alive. So when the Lord returns, he's coming to kill his enemies and save or make alive his servants, the anointed. And that's why when we read Psalms 91 and 8, it says, let's go up one. A thousand shall fall at thy side and 10,000 at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. So what is it saying? When at its peak, when judgment is being put out, when you got thousands of people falling on one side, tens of thousands of people falling on another, but the destruction, the danger, don't come near you. Well, that's the Lord doing what? That's the Lord giving a helping hand. That's the hand of the Lord being known to, toward his servants. You know, that the death don't come near you. But his indignation at the same time is being shown toward his enemies. That's a thousand falling at your left and the tens of thousands falling at your right. But it don't come near you. That's again the hand of the Lord being known toward his servants and his indignation toward his enemies. And that's why verse 8 reads, Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. And how do you picture this? Well, that would be the anointed, his servants, the elect. You know, we still standing on our feet, living and breathing, you know, walking away from the scene of destruction. But you're going to have bodies on top of dead bodies. You know, those people no longer alive. So us walking away from the destruction while others die in the destruction. That's the right hand of the heavenly father, which is Yahweh Shah, being known toward his servants and his indignation toward his enemies. 
Last one, Exodus 14 and 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, and stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord. You see, middle of the verse, we see the salvation right here, which he will show you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, you shall see them again no more forever. Why? Because the Lord put the Egyptians to death. So on one hand, you see Moses talking about the salvation of the Lord. But on the other hand, you see Moses talking about the death, the destruction, the indignation of the Egyptians, which would be our enemies. So again, the Lord speaking up about the salvation. That's the hand of the Lord being known toward his servants and speaking about the Egyptians. You shall see them no more again forever. That's his indignation being toward his enemies. The same right hand where the strength of salvation lies, it's the same right hand that's going to dash the enemy to pieces. Because again, the Lord says, I kill and I make alive. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Who is that hand? Yahweh Shah. So again, the same spirit, Yahweh Shah, the same power that can kill you, can also save you. But that's it for this lesson here. Till next time, Shalom.